Yo, what's up guys? I'm just chilling. I just took a shower. All is good. So I made a video yesterday about Tarkov delusionality. And you guys left some pretty damn nice comments, I must say. This satire is outstanding. 39 runner. I'm not sure what to say. Was it satire? Might have been. They're video games, brother. It's fun. What is fun? Bro, it's completely skill based. You just get better. What the hell? Dude, if someone is 5% better than me, it's gear based or RPG level based. Just by that. But I still understand what you're talking about, dude. It's guns. Like some other dudes, I will see in the comments pretty soon. I can't tell if this is satire or pure copium. And he has, God, I hope it's satire. I couldn't neither. I already commented like it's not satire though. I may have fucked up. I have no idea. Is it satire? Most likely not. Or maybe it is. You're a giga chef for speaking out, brother. Keep fighting the good fight. Thanks, Cry Goblin TV. Guys, come on. It's only a game. Why have to be mad? I say some bad things about Tarkov. To be honest, if you watch my other video, I mean, I have like 2000 of them, but one of the videos I'm discussing the part where. Let's see. What am I even discussing? Something about gear based and skill based. I'm not sure. You get better by playing? Why is this surprise? The more time spent playing, better players slash gear. Get good, kid. True, man. Yeah, that's true. Dude spent 13 minutes explaining how hours equals better at game. Not only is explaining as if better gear makes you do more damage. Mate, a pistol will kill you one shot to the face. The same as spear would. Stop whining and land your shots. I can't tell you how many times I've shot people in the head with a shotgun and it says absorbed by armor 500. Explain that, will you? Bro, come one we want me on CS. I'll actually answer this one. When? Tell me when and tell me how we do it. Because I tried one we wanting people in that game and they literally removed the option to do that unless you like buy your own server or something. I only play SPT Aki Aki. I guess that's a single player version. That's cool for you, Griffith. Go play Night Raves, and if you're so skillful, go one tap the chat that have the NVGs on with shitty ammo because they won't have wizard scope. I'm guessing he wants me to go play Night Raves because they don't have the face shield or something. Sure, I might do that, to be honest. But for some reason they won't die because they got armor. And they can jump longer. Are you saying that dude? This is my favorite. Oh my god, it's spanky. Bro plays classic WoW and has a 53 average parse and wants to talk about skill. In Tarkov you can die to a headshot from any gun and armor. It doesn't protect you that much in WoW. It's literally entirely gear based. I must say it's respectful of you shaking my logs. They are dog shit. Usually I don't buy consumes, I usually don't even bring world buff, but when I do I end up at 53. I don't care about professions. World of Warcraft is my nostalgia game, but fine, dude, you, you did the research, you won, definitely. And yeah, World of Warcraft is the worst skill based, I mean, whoa, 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 what did I say? I mean gear based piece of shit game ever. It's just nice nostalgia, man. And retail. They messed it up. It's an awful shit little game. 145 and 712. I love these bo both moments because it's kind of true, but it's even more with hackers. Yeah, I've heard people have hacking in Tarkov. One, one of my friends says it's mostly weebs from Russia and Eastern Europe or something. But if they're not from those states, they're definitely weebs. And if I remember correctly, weebs are someone who likes 
anime and manga, those cartoonish children stuff. I'm not saying more than that. Shoot faster, more aim, gear based. Do the amount of clips I have of killing level 50s with pistols and shit kits is an entire folder in it in of itself. I have 3000 hours and currently level 28. I have level 3 traders and consistently use M80 and ammunition that can pen level 4 armor. I average around 10 million rubles before hideout upgrades. Get better, dude. First of all, I'm not sick. I'm a very healthy man. As you can see, I drink my water. And if you want to get good, get good in a gear based RPG game, sure do it. But I'm telling you, man, if they are percentage wise better than me, you can't apply the title skill base to that game. You say no. And to be fair, this is what I will do right now. I will Google Tarkov later and see does it say gear based or anything you like does it say i think it says competitive which it definitely shouldn't have maybe arena anyway some japan um and then we got some dude mario he's right in some things he says but he's wrong about that you can't tap them in the face and like wow where you actually can't true that's actually true dude in world of warcraft you have no chance at all pure shit based tarkov you actually do have a chance, but it's very small, it's very slim. And then we got Kilrus. This is the first step in any Timmy's journey towards learning the game. Continue and you will find success. What I'm telling you is that... Uh, I would like to reverse that. I am the Giga Shad right now because I don't have the knowledge. I don't have all that, but I'm still playing this game. I would say it's the opposite, to be honest. But maybe you guys are... Maybe after I play a while, maybe I understand what Giga Shad is in this game. And then we got Future. The, this game is pain, brother. Hang in there. Hang in there. I mean, I got buddy who plays like four hours a week and he doesn't have problems. Gear honestly doesn't mean shit when your bullet goes through everything. This game is mainly game and map knowledge, more than straight up mechanical skill. That might be true. Maybe this game should have the title Map Knowledge. Hmm. Still, when you when you've been in a house and somebody you know you know the location of this house, right? You know the walls, you know the doors, and you know someone is at the other door, but you you swear there that maybe they jumped in a window. That's doesn't matter, dude. They got the level five armor. They got the shoddy shitty with fifty mags, double damage. They got the visors, they got all that shit. They jump faster, jump longer, all that. No shot in hell. And then we got future again. Gear does help, but it's absolutely skill based. If you're good and you can kill a shadow with a pistol, take his shit. Fine. And then we got Greg Savage, skill issue. I would say gear issue, man. If, if somebody brings me a nice hit and you bring me on ground zero, I will show you the what a true Giga Shad is. <laughs> Tickle me pinky. Slav General Sam. Did you, did you just call me a slave and a general? What the hell? Petra Hoda. Go play Arena. I am playing Arena a lot more. But I'm not sure how the skills work in that game. Because if I, if I can see that this game has the skill based... Endurance, oh did I say skill, oh I'm sorry, you got me there. Endurance, jumpy, strength, in that game as well and I, I need to start jumping all the time to increase my strength. Get away from me arena if that's the case. Look up labs montage and see if you can find the skill. Fenar Murk. And he says, Shoes will show him, drunk punk, fire. That's right dude, that's right. Labs montage, I've never been into labs. What I've heard is there's a bunch of cheaters going around. But to be fair, like in World of Warcraft, if you're from a country with shitty currency, you probably would make more by buying, by selling the services of boosting and things like that, which is fine, I guess. But the word is going around that cheating is not good. Look at China, dude. They're, they're cutting people's head off. They're putting them in jail. Maybe not cutting people's head off, but I mean cutting people's hands off. Putting them in jail, 
taking money from them because she thinks it's not good. But I mean, if these guys from um, countries with bad currency, if they would sell a service without downloading hacks and sheets, that would be geekish ad. Bad computers, bad internet, bad currency, they make more money than working a retail job in that country. All for them. Then we got Tarbox. I'm only at 114. The armor, new hitboxes, or run speed has a bigger impact on winning a gunfight than knowing how you can flank and use aggression. Nades, bait nades, bait reloads, barrel stuff, etc. You just ain't played the game much. He says he's not a gigashad, and I will concede that things like desync and peeker's advantage make the game often feel luck based. But the game absolutely has a huge skill ceiling. Like what other gear is only the thing that determines skill. Game has top tier helmets where technically you can still get one tap from a funny angle. Also, leg meta is still a thing. I could go on. Thanks for input, Tarbox. And he's finished the video and he says it has to be satire. Irony, sarcasm, satire. Google, define all those three words. And then we got the trooper. He's talking a lot about his experiences. Uh, he made it to almost level 35. Many raids. He's dying to gigashads and cheaters. Days later, he broke down. And he was having a craving for abuse in Tarkov again. Oh, shit. And he has 700 hours of playtime by this point. 700 hours. Gee, man. So I started engaging a lot more gunfights. He just did it. He, he had a game plan for each raid. I had a game plan in my raid. I was doing them quests. I was, I was running like this in customs. You know what happened? I'm not sure if it was a cheater or a gigashad teamy player. He shot me in both my legs and was laughing. I couldn't do shit. I shot at him. Absorbed by armor, 500. Dead. Sure, man. Now that doesn't mean throw all common sense out the window and double you down a hall when you know they have lockdown. Basically you're saying, run like this. Run back like this, you see them. Throw a nade. Peek here. Peek there. Yeah, I know what's up. Mechanical. Yes. And then we got CJ. Point of view of a player that hears someone and crouches in the corner, waits for them to approach, drops five bullets in their chest, then promptly gets one tapped in head, top of head, by M62. What the hell is M62? There is no such thing as fair fight. How long before you realize that time invested equals skill? The unemployed giga chads are stomping you in skill based games too. Shit! Alright, dude. Edit, you sure trolled me, bro. I see all your solid videos. Also, if you really were a skill based player, you would be uninstalling League. I like you, dude. Fuck League of Legends. Fuck Riot Vanguard. I even said the F word. Uh, it's really strange how League skill is centered around kill times. Blue, blee, blah, blee. 0.25 second kill times. League macro is even more of a joke. Everyone that plays both games know League is the fuck around fun Mario Party game. Fine. And now it's um, probably a Chinese spyware rootkit. Will probably kill your computer. And he made another edit. Made this edit after the unhinged rant. I'm thinking you're a delusional one in a bubble. I have to check for myself if you really are skill based. Your OPGG, your vertical parts, <laughs> your sub balls. All underwhelming. I watch your league gameplay. The camera logs 100% of the time. CS looks like your main game and the one you actually put competitive skill efforts into. If your Tarkov is anything like your league revolve, my friend that plays two hours a week could win. A best of five in Tarkov with a shitty level 5 PMC buckshot and shotty while you're using a full meta max skills. I can guarantee that is it that you're expecting your efforts in CS to translate to Tarkov and other games? Also, don't install Dota, it will just have you hit the copium harder than Tarkov did. Damn. That was a long, long dude. I'm not I'm not sure what to say. But I'm I'm liking this one. It was both up and down in your ways of communicating, and I like that. Um, this guy was so bad, he made a video about it. Thank you, Alexander. To be honest, I can't say I was good at the game. I can't. 
And then we have Ants Johansson. If desync wasn't horrible, I'd make PvP way better, but PvP is kind of trash. Do I agree? I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't said it, but to be honest, guys, I haven't played Tarkov that much. Or have I? And then we got Mario again. This is the worst take on the game. And then we got Jason. Facts. Straight up facts. All I realized is I'm better than I thought. Noon. Nice noon. Why waste money on high-end gear when you can just use shitty gear and not give a shit? Hmm. My Giga Shad answer would be do the quest, level up, get the skills, hashtag not skill based, uh, understand what the meta is by watching the top tier streamers, listing the tier list, maybe a shitty, a shitty weapon, bad low tier, up there. Next to the spears, next to the M4s, whatever cool name they got, still respectful. And then we have Freshwater. What you're getting slapped on right now is map knowledge. Yeah, map knowledge based game. Not the stats. All bullets hit the same no matter the level. Come back in three months, little bro. Do you want me to take a break or do you want me to keep playing for three months? Lee Morgan. He's not really wrong. Fine. A skilled player can always outplay a gear player in Tarkov. That's a player why loves it. Ah, oh, players love it when because they can do that. Sure. Gears give an advantage, sure, but it's maybe 10% of the total equation. Get good, kid. Thanks, dude. But these guys who, who go and watch my uh, logs in World of Warcraft, that's, that's cool. You guys are doing your research. And you were pretty damn spot on with the Counter-Strike. That's almost the only game I've put in that I've been top tier rank 1. Or like a global elite, you could say, or like uh, rank 9, face it, or whatever. Maybe Guild Wars 2, PvP. But that's a video for a whole other time. What I'm saying is skill-based, that's the Giga Chat stuff. And Tarkov, sure. We talked about that. I know it's satire, but it's absolutely take skills. You don't even know what you're doing until your third wipe, at least. Wow. I'm sorry, but you guys can take down an Altin guy with a PM pistol if you make it between the eye gap. It definitely is skill based. At level 17 I kill a duo of level 53s. This game is like 80% skill and knowledge based and your character grows with you. Nice. Thanks for opening my eyes. My pleasure. I didn't do it though, but I guess I did. I can't tell if you're being serious right here. You should try to heal your soul, bro, by touching grass. Stop playing games and live life. But it's still a catchy title and subject. So if you just try to ing up the engagement on your YouTube, well done. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. Finally, someone said it. All facts. Thank you, Caleb. I tried to be as factful as possible. Waffling. What's bro waffling about? I need to do this in real time. What is bro waffling about? And then we got Macho Man. I can feel your frustration. Whoa, this guy wrote a lot. But there are so many points you didn't mention. The new map Ground Zero is basically map for new players below level 20. You cannot be in a raid on this map with Chad if you're under level 20. Another point not to be so frustrated. Do not bring to the raid items. Do not bring to the raid items which you don't want to lose. Another point, play with friends. Another point, enjoy more the game. Don't be so serious about the game. It is a game. So try to make fun of it. Last point, there are plenty of games out there you can play. Don't be mad about this game, just go play another game. If this one is not fun for you anymore, for me to outplay Shad with PL15 pistol is better feeling than outplay them with meta guns. Giga Shad behavior. If I lose, I can always blame the gear, but in fact, there are ways to outplay Shads with worse gear. Still, a lot of words about these Shads and Giga Shads out there. And I'm half of the time, I don't even know what you're speaking about. I mean, skill issues. The thumbnail should have a big red arrow coming from Tarkov Delusional pointing to him. 
<laughs> Lol, you just dropped the level 52 dude stacked with sawed off as a scout. Skill and luck has to do with it, but I say the cheaters are fucking insane this wipe. Way out of control. Stop cheating. Things like this makes me want to become a politician used to in implement extreme laws against cheating in video games. Worse than China. I would say the most possible things about Tarkov is you clean your house, I mean your apartment, your house. You try to do a nice job and work. You're doing cool things and you want to become a politician so you can bring justice for the cheating community. Yes. We need more politicians speaking about this. And then we got Jimpris. I'm a very casual EFT player. First wipe, reached 15. He's 47, father of two, senior architect. He loves playing EFT. The immersion, it brings you on the edge. It can be frustrating sometimes, but so is life. Sh true, man. I can't, yeah, I can see the theme here. Each player needs to and can play the best game the way that suits him best, for example. I don't have time to play for hours to improve my skills, so I favor thinking strategically. Real-time strategy gaming, dude. Yes. Starcraft. The main thing is to have fun. Going after fun has always led me down dark paths. I want... Honesty. Yeah. Honor. Honesty. Integrity. Discipline. All that. I already have one of those, thank you. Nice, you have a job. I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for roof over my head, food in my stomach. You saw my belly at the other time. It's huge. I do probably have lactose intolerance though. All the stamina stuff is mostly irrelevant. Gunfights, running to the point. It's absolute zero and the gear thing. Yeah, people who have grinded more will have better gear, but they start, started at the same point you did. True, man. And also, people that he got friends playing in their higher gears and armor, he still get one shot to the armpit or mag dumped in the legs. There's huge potential for skill. Reasons no one's talking about it is because no one playing Tarkov anymore. Rest in peace, killed by hackers. You can always kill by hitting the head, no matter gear. Yesterday I scabbed in on Lighthouse. 30 seconds in, I see a fully geared, gear, geared, geared, geared. With level 4 mask and level 5 armor. Okay, kill one with the toss. Nice, dude. You did it. Now, to do that another time. Do it one more time. And I might believe that this is a skill-based game. He mercs someone with a level 44 with a 3.66 eco from a VPO. Nice one, Twat Mirror. Kids in Africa, I hope this is satire. Sarcasm, irony. Bro realizing game has progress. RPG, there we go. I work 40 to follower week and I'm a level 40, having no issues fighting people. Early. Oh dude, not a follower. He's calling me bad because I'm not a level 50 plus. Or maybe because he's level 40. Dude, you're level 40. That's like 2,000 hours in. All yokes aside from Darius, Janko. There's definitely should be a level rank, elo, tall spent in game lobbies. I have you started playing for the very first time and if I go against someone on my level it's super fun. But most of the time I get one tap by a shad. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. That's how it feels like. Floris. You need to have a skill to get level 50 and you can always headshot people. And it's strategy game, don't compare it with Vov, you're, you're mad and sad. I'm mad and sad. I do. I mean... I might, I might be, dude. Thank you, Floris. I watched the whole video and I have one thing to say. Don't play the game. Go play Tetris. Now that one hurt. Damn, dude. It wouldn't be fine there was an SPMM that took into the account level. Time played. Kill and diff. Questing is non-existence as soon as the Shad reach max readers. Okay. They start hunting you down. That's it, guys. I read some of your comments, I mean all of them, 20 minutes in. Thanks for watching, and if you leave a really good comment, I might do another one. More water drinking videos will arrive, and I will probably jump into Daisy. Thanks for doing the research on my World of Warcraft progression, and you were spot on with the Counter-Strike. Sure, it's nice skill-based, but you know how it is.
We need to band together, guys. We need to band together. We can't have all of these cheaters running around playing our video games. If you know someone, maybe your brother, your friends, your cousins, if they're cheating, we need to do a database so we can list these people. Because justice needs to be bringed. We need to take our politician stuff in our own hands and do this thing. Nobody, they're waiting for us. Ourselves are waiting for us to take, take care of this. You understand? You need to cross the line. Evil, good. We, we need to go, let's say evil, good. We need to go this way, good. We need to make a, make, need to make a stand, have principles. Honesty, integrity, honor. That's all for now. And maybe I wasn't super serious, but you know, I get mad sometimes as well. And Tarko is like that. Thanks for watching my video and drink water.